Okay, today I decided I was going to do uh, a presentation on Audacity, if I could stay awake. Uh, just do this quickly before I go home. And the way Audacity works is you can get an old tape, an old record, and if the device you're playing your old tape or old record on has one of these suckers, a place for your headphones to come out of, and your computer has a place for you to plug your microphone in while you can use Audacity. Now, also notice that I am recording myself while I'm doing this. That's because two different channels are being used in Linux. Um, let me get this thing. Yeah, okay. I don't even know how to angle this thing so you can get to the point where you see my face. Anyway, a couple things that you want to do with Audacity. First of all, you want to get your Alza mixer working right, and you want you want to get the mixer capture um, function uh, to be at an appropriate volume, and also for the card you want to capture with to capture sound. So let's go and take a look at this sucker here. First thing I will try, and I was already working on this just because I'm a cheater. So I'm going to go as myself, which in ca this case is not myself, it is Jack, but I am logged in as Jack, so that is myself, and uh, just like the Twilight Zone. But that's not the subject. Okay, press enter. Okay, now go over here, and notice on the upper left it says I am configuring the card for the uh, the Realtek ALC888 on an Intel. This is an Intel. Okay, and then if I press uh, F4, I go to capture. And then if I go this right here, I've, I'm using my arrow keys here. That affects that. Right, I'm using the right arrow and I go over here to what is my input source? Is it the line? Is it the front mic or the mic? And in this case, I went to the mic. And I want to make sure that my capture device isn't in the red, but it's high enough where I can get what I want. And then I'm done. Next thing I want to do is I want to go into Audacity and make sure I'm using the device I want to use. And unfortunately, here in Alza Mixer, I don't think it tells you the device number um, that you're that the front mic is. It just says, "Okay, it's front mic." But if I press F6, it says zero is the HDA Intel and one is the USB. The USB device, which is my camera, and why you can hear me. Um, so I at least know that much. Okay, let's go over here to Audacity. First thing we want to do is we want to edit preferences. Right now, I have mine set for 4100, and I'll just go with 32. The device I'm using Alza. I'm using default playback, and in this case, I'm using the HD Intel 0, 0,2 for reasons. I'll leave to myself and let you guess at. No, just kidding. Uh, apparently, 0, 0,2 is this one. And 0, 0,1 is the one back there. Okay? Get it? Got it? Good. Now, the next thing I need to have set up that isn't apparent. Is over here under libraries on the left, my MP3 was automatically detected by Audacity, but my FFMPEG was not. And it doesn't say that the name of FFMPEG is actually called. I have it over here. Live AV format. When I select locate, yes, would like to. 
locate them manually. Even though it says library format 52, if I don't put user library there, I don't think it's going to be able to find it. Notice I'm in the user library subdirectory Bueller, Bueller. I say OK. And then it, once it has detected it, it does that. My, I was able to record with MP3, but it was crap until I had gone into this part and uh, actually manually told Audacity where to find it. And I say OK. OK, so now I'm going to go for a little recording of Al Franken's Lies and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them. Fair and balanced look at the right. The first thing I'll do is I'll play it so you can hear that it's actually working. Highbridge Audio presents Lies and the okay, Lying Liars Who Tell Them. A fair and Now I'm going to rewind if I can, and now I'll start recording. What you want to look for in this audio is that lies and the, lies the loudest that this gets, you don't want it to have right. to be cut off at the top, otherwise you'll get squelches. Day, how do you control the volume? Well, that's that's easy. That's that's your device down here. You know, you volume on your stereo or, or the thing you're recording from. Note, so it's a poor man's MP3 creator. Although I wrote this book in a okay, so let's uh, stop this and just play to see how it's coming out. I click on some. Andrew Barr and Brandon Parker Root. A note from the author. Although I wrote this book in a spirit of dispassionate inquiry. Let's go back over here. Just make sure you get the get the intro just because I like it. Highbridge Audio presents Lies and the Lying Liars Who Tell Them. A fair okay, let's stop it. All right, so let's get over here. And now what we're gonna what we're gonna do is we're gonna make an MP3 out of this. Is this rocket science? You ask, no it is not. So is what we do, we're gonna file, we're gonna export. We're not gonna save, we're gonna export. And we're gonna export this as I have several choices, but I'm gonna go with MP3 and I'm gonna go liars uh, MP3 and it happens to be located in my home directory so I click on save and there's tags so I put in uh, Al Franken there and uh, lies in the lying liars doesn't have spell check though and whatever else I want to put in there, and then I just say OK, and then it, boom, what was that? That was quick. How'd that happen? OK. <laughs> OK, let's get out of Audacity. And, no, don't want to save my changes. I'm not that desperate. I'm going to go back to my home directory. This is KD3, so if you're not familiar with the look, that's because I got some good stuff. OK, so we have the video file I'm making right now. And this one, let's open this thing up and let's play this sucker with Amor. Okay, how about that? Yes, I am okay. Uh, no, I just want to open something. Can I just do that? I, why do I need a database? Go. Here it is. Highbridge Audio presents. Where'd you go? Lies and the lying liars who tell them. A fair and balanced look at the right by Al Franken. With Johanna Day. April Yvette Thompson, Andrew Barr, and Brandon Parker. That's all you really gotta, gotta do, right? A note from the author. Turn the volume up. Although and I it came out okay, because I made sure that the... That the uh, let's stop this. <laughs> um, that the bars didn't go up too high or low in that area. And I got myself an MP3. And that's it. So that's how you do it. Um, it's worked fine here in Ubuntu. The only problems or the pitfalls that I've come into is 
not knowing about the alza mixer, not knowing what to do, uh, relying on this down here, instead of just going into the alza mixer, it's the best thing to do is just to type alza mixer in your command line. Go ahead and go in there. Another pitfall could be using the open source rather than the alza audio driver, picking the wrong mic, uh, recording at a volume that's too high. So watch the graph. And uh, one of these things, I don't know where, I don't even know where I got this uh, two edged uh, connector here, but basically, you know, looks like this at both ends. I'm getting that. I think I probably got that. That's it. So that's all you got to do, and it works fairly well. And so that's it. And then you could, you know, transfer your. MP3 back onto the droid in which you already have uh, your uh, thing, and that that's it. Okay, I am done. I guess I'll hopefully upload this with my new bandwidth control and not take up everything.